Hey everyone, it's Jim, and I just wanted to talk to you about the iOS software called Lemur, and it's for the iPad um, or the iPhone, and what it does is it's a multi-touch control surface that uses uh, MIDI and OSC to control applications such as Ableton Live, Cubase, Pro Tools, Reactor, uh, Maximus P, Tractor, and that's just a small list of what it can control. Pretty much anything that uses uh, MIDI or OSC uh, data transmission can, in fact, uh, be controlled by this. So, down here you have a pretty big library of user templates that have been submitted. And so technically, you really don't even have to make your own template, but what the hell is the fun in that? Um, for a little background of where this app came from, there was a company called Jazzbutin, and they made something called the Lemur Legacy, which was a control module, a um, touchscreen control module, pretty much like the iPad, but it held just the Lemur software. <laughs> And when the iPad came out, eventually they discontinued that and converted the software damn well and pretty much spot on exactly to the iPad and iOS. Um, so it, it, it's, it's amazing. It's $50, and that seems pretty steep when you're talking about an iPad app. But if you know what this thing can do, that's nothing. Um, I was pretty hesitant at first, actually, myself, and then I went ahead and got it, and it is incredible. So, besides that, let's move on. <coughs> Excuse me. We'll get out of here, and we'll go up to the um, airport, and this is for, obviously, Mac OS X, and for that, we're going to go to Create Network. And this is going to create an ad hoc network. And what it is is a computer-to-computer -computer network. Now, I'm going to name it Lemur just to make things easier. Keep the channel set to automatic 11. Um, again, making things easier. And hit OK. Now, meantime, I'm going to go down and actually open up the Lemur editor, which is one of the pieces of software you download from the line website and that should be down uh, at the bottom of the description and we're also going to open up the lemur daemon which is another piece of software that you download from uh, the line website so we're going to open that up and that's going to bring up this little icon up here and we're going to go to set up lemur daemon okay now this screen comes up and by this time, we should be connected to the ad hoc network, and we'll know that by this little computer screen that comes up. And as you can see, we are connected to the Lemur ad hoc network. Okay, so we have this. Now we're going to move over to the iPad. And with that, we're going to go into Settings, General, Network, go to Wi-Fi, and the lemur network should come up. Now we want to connect to that, and doo -doo -doo, there we go. Okay, we're done with that for now. Now we can open lemur application, and this dialog, little, not dialog box, but this, this window should come up. And that's going to contain the projects, the MIDI targets, the OSC targets, and the info. So I'm not going to show you how to set up the OSC right now. We're going to work off of MIDI. And as you can see, these have come in. Um, so these MIDI targets, basically, y you can add targets. But for right now, we're going to stick with MIDI 0. And this from box means that the iPad app is going to receive information from. The to box means it's going to send information to. So within the from box, we're going to open this. And back to the computer for a second, what we should do is go into System Preferences, go to Sharing, and up here you'll know the, the machine name. 
for not the the machine name, but just basically this uh, this local port. Um, and we can edit that over here in, in this box. And I call mine lemur pad again, just to make things easy. If you don't want to change it, just remember this or write it down. Do what you have to do. And we can go out of there at this point. Now the reason I say that to remember that is because right here we have lemurpad.local and this is the machine that we want to connect to and send this information to because you can send it to multiple machines as you can see. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to select this daemon output zero. We'll select that and then this will come up. And basically what that's saying is we're receiving information on the iPad from this machine on the daemon output zero. Same thing with the two box. We're going to select that, go to lemur pad local, daemon input zero. And that means we're sending information from the iPad to this machine, which is our computer, at daemon input zero. So we go back to here, okay, now go to set up lemur daemon up in that corner and these should automatically pretty much appear in here and if you look on the computer side of things it's saying on the daemon, uh, the local port daemon input zero, that is where we're receiving information from and it's coming from Jim Bush, you know, which is my iPad. Uh, lemur out zero. Same thing with the send information. Sending to the lemur on the iPad on the input zero. So we can go out of there at this point. And in, once we open the lemur editor, we can go over here to the settings tab. Click that. Click the lemur tab. And just click auto map and go down to hit control change that'll make things easier for um, well for the most part um, easier for MIDI mapping and we can hit OK at that point now we can also go up here to lemur connection which is this little um, play button looking thing and we'll hit that and our iPad should come up so we'll select it and connect it alright that was done then we'll hit this lemur synchro and what that's going to basically do the lemur synchro button is it's going to synchronize any uh, anything that we do on the iPad it's going to do on the computer and vice versa so if we go back to the iPad we can now hit done and the screens are the exact same now to see that that actually you know it does what it's supposed to do we will drop a fader on here. We'll select the, that up here in this tab, which um, has all your objects. So just select the fader. And we'll be about to drop it right on his head. And gone. Now, what the reason of this uh, green little synchro button right here, what the purpose of that was, was now we can go on the iPad and control what's on the computer screen and this will help for uh, debugging things and basically and quickly um, you know speed up your uh, your workflow process it, it helps so that's it for now and in the next one what we'll do is we'll probably start with uh, setting up a template a basic template for Ableton Live for just a two two track DJ setup um, and it's pretty, like I said, this, this program's amazing. Um, if, if I can go on for a couple seconds, um, you know, you can put in, um, your custom math functions, physics functions, um, control the behavior, the properties of this. Okay, you know, I don't like the color of that, so, you know, now it's blue, or now it's, you know, it, it's... That's just, that's not even scratch, I mean, scratching the surface, that there's so much, but can't get discouraged. Uh, it's super fun program to work with, and 
it's it's top of the line, plain and simple. So have a good one and hope to see you on the next video.